welcome to your July 2018 reading. This is for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Virgo. We're going to look at love, career, finance, all the messages I get from above. I will relate to you, of course, as I always do. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so only take from the reading what actually applies to your life. And if it doesn't apply, let it go. You can check out your moon and rising. That'll help you get a better all-around idea of what to expect for the month. So I'm going to pull right now from the soul's journey, whatever message the universe wants each and every one of you to know, to focus on, heal, remove, or bring into your life. You're going to know how it resonates with you. At the end of the reading, I will pull from the business career card as well as a romance angel card so what came out for you is gratitude i am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents what a beautiful message beautiful card i just love this card gratitude gratitude is the universe i will tell you the universe loves when we give thanks and appreciation for whatever we have, even if we feel it's a little bit, we have a roof over our head, we have food in our tummies, <clears throat> we have our family with us, we have something to be grateful. When we show gratitude to the universe, they start bringing us more stuff. So truly embrace what you have and show complete appreciation and gratitude for it. It will bring more in for you. So let me get <clears throat> one more card, and there it is. And take a look at your cards for... We have the Queen of Swords, the Devil, Temperance, the Sun card, and you did get another card, the Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> so... Some of you have been in a relationship, okay, where you're completing a cycle. There was a lot of toxicity in this romantic relationship. And this is on a romantic level. A lot of toxicity coming through this. You or your partner may have had addictions, and I do believe it was your partner, not so much as you, but this is general, so it can go vice versa. There's a lot of healing that has taken place, not only within you, but within your partner. The two of you are not together because of the addictions. The healing, the inner growth, the expansion has taken place between the two of you where you're ending a karmic cycle. For some of you, you do have an opportunity to reconcile this relationship. The healing, again, that has taken place is going to be able to lead you to a different life than what you had. This person is no longer happy. They're not indulging in that addiction. They, they went, they got help, they healed over it, and they are looking forward in the future. Yeah, so I pulled some additional messages for you guys to get a little bit more in-depth. Yeah, you definitely have communication coming in from this person. Like I said, the two of you are at a distance. So this is the Eight of Wands. Communication coming in. Um, you may be feeling a little bit trapped in this situation. The Eight of Swords. Negative thinking. Because of what took place in the past. Because of the difficulty, the toxicity that was there. But you've already spoken with them. You know that they have healed. You just don't know how much and you're worried that they may go back. You do have the judgment card. This person is coming back. This is your opportunity to reconcile your differences, to make amends, and to see if you really want to move this relationship forward. Because they want a brand new beginning with you and you have completed a cycle. That karmic situation, all that negativity for some of you in this group is going to be gone. And you have an opportunity to start this beautiful new beginning. There's another group of you where they're showing me that you... <clears throat> You're a little bit out of balance. You're, you're finding yourself 
going from negative to positive thinking, negative to positive, negative to positive. There's no neutral. There's no letting things just go with the flow. You're having very great difficulty being in balance. And it's all about you aligning and healing whatever's going on with you. Some of you, this has to do with your career. You may be in the entertainment field where you are out there auditioning for jobs and you have had a bad streak of luck as far as getting the, the, the jobs. But there is a situation coming around again where you may have auditioned and they said they filled the part, they already they casted it, Something took place where they're going to contact you now and you will have this communication coming through in the month of July. They're going to extend the offer to you and this time for real, okay, this time. And it can lead you to ultimate success, like really put you in the spotlight and you've been waiting. So it's kind of like you're closing out that cycle of all the negative aspects of that career that you're in. Again, this looks like it's an entertainment, singing, dancing, acting. Yeah. We're looking at the signs of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Leo. Yep. For another group of you, <clears throat> you need to stand up for what you believe is the right thing to do when it comes to your family. There is a, they're showing me it's a very toxic family situation. A lot of arguing, a lot of fighting between you. Actually, it looks like you and everybody. It's like a whole group of people and then one person, like they may be ganging up on you. You might even feel that you're the black sheep of the family. There's gonna be a judgment call made on your part as to whether or not you wanna to continue to even engage with your family because of the toxicity that's associated with it. I see that they're not very nice to you um, and it puts you in this negative thinking mode where you feel trapped and stuck, like they're my family, I can't walk away, I do love them. And let me uh, just give you a word of advice. This is from me to you if you are in this situation. I raised my children to understand we can love somebody, but that doesn't mean we like them, okay? We can like somebody, but that doesn't mean we love them. And there are some people that we love but because of toxicity, because of addictions, because of the dysfunctionalism about them, we can't have them in our life. But we can still love them, we just don't interact with them. So maybe that will help you when you make a decision. For another group of you, you have a wonderful job opportunity coming. This job opportunity is going to lead you to ultimate prosperity. I mean, look at these cards, you guys. These are like awesome cards. It's like you're going to get love. You're going to get job. You're going to get everything. This is a really beautiful uh, reading. For another group of you, you're going through a divorce. And it's been very, very difficult for you. Um, you and your partner are not together. But you are going to contact each other in the month of July. And the final judgment is going to take place. You know, the court's going to decide the division of property, the division of assets, and the debt associated. It looks like it's almost going to be a 50-50 deal kind of thing with you guys. Um, your partner is going to ask you to give it one more opportunity. They believe they are your soulmate and they believe that the two of you are meant to be together and they want to see if you want to give it another opportunity. Now, for some of you in this group, when this takes place, it's going to throw you a little bit out of balance. You are not expecting this to happen because of the situation that took place in the past but you do have the makings if you choose to. If you choose, you can move forward with this person. 
For another group of you, you have a brand new person coming into your life. This brand new person is very grounded individual. They're, they're secure in their own right, so they've created a world that they do like. Um, now, they may have some things, some qualities, some characteristics about them that you aren't sure if is copacetic with you. But you can have a good relationship with them, at least enjoy the moment and have some fun with them throughout the the next couple months. It doesn't look like it's going to be a long-term relationship. For another group of you, you have a, a brand new person coming into your life and this person is very attractive, highly intelligent. They look like they run their own company. Um, really communicative. So the two of you can talk and talk and talk for hours. And it all makes sense on both ends of it where the both of you really get along quite well. And you do have an opportunity to to create a, they're gonna wanna start a real relationship with you. The only thing that I see that could be of a difficulty for you, you're struggling with, is that they do live at a distance. They live far away. You can get past this, you can either move there, they can move to see you. I do not see children are involved in this situation, so you both are free to come and go as you please unless it's job related. For another group of you, <clears throat> you've been going through a spiritual transformation. All, all, four of these cards are talking about a spiritual transformation. Whether you may choose, have chosen to make transformations on your own, but you're breaking through blockages and these blockages have been holding you back from achieving prosperity and love, harmony, mostly inner love, self-love. You're coming through this, you're healing beautiful. The universe is saying your job well done, job well done. They're guiding you and they're helping to keep you in balance right now. You're still at the point where you're a little bit confused, you're a little bit dazed, a little bit trapped and stuck, not knowing how to come out of where you were, but you are in the transit of, of moving over. So you're doing a great job and in the next two months, your life is gonna take a whole different direction. Keep on doing the work you're doing, do the healing that you are doing because it is gonna be very, very good for you. Yeah. It's going to be beautiful. So let's take a look at your career and business card for the month and see what comes out for you. Opportunity. Procrastination robs you of opportunity. Wow. Right? Wow. Procrastination. Um, it, that's like a message all in itself. Do not protest, procrastinate because opportunities, whether it be in love, in career, or finance, it doesn't matter, family situations, you have the opportunities presenting themselves to you in the month of July, so take advantage of them because they don't stay around very long. All right, let's look at your romance card for the month. Also, you guys, I am running, I have been running a sale on my uh, website where I've discounted the readings and it's been several weeks. The sale will be ending on Saturday the 7th. So if you wanted to get a reading at a discounted price, this week is the week to do it. The sale ends midnight on Saturday the 7th. If you like my style, if you like the way I present the readings, please subscribe and that will keep this channel up and going. So the card that came out for you is soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. If you can see, I have so much glare here and shoddy cards. This is your soulmate. For some of you, definitely your soulmate's coming back. They've grown, they've healed, you've healed, you have an opportunity not only to reconcile your differences, 
but actually move forward with them because for some of you, this is your true life partner. This is who you were meant to walk the rest of your days with in this lifetime. For others of you, you're meeting brand new people. I have a fly around here. <laughs> I don't even know where it came from. You're meeting brand new people and one can definitely turn out to be your soulmate. So I hope you guys have a wonderful month. Thank you for watching. Much love.